أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم زمزم of spiritual knowledge excerpts from the teachings of Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi al-Karkari The Karkari disciple and the marital obligations In a dream, a disciple sees Sidi Sheikh smiling He had 27 white teeth and one black Sidi Sheikh responds as follows Understand that when someone dreams of the Prophet peace be upon him or a wali or saint with an imperfection, it should be seen as a reflection of himself. Indeed, the dream serves as his own mirror. For example, if in the dream the disciple sees them in jeans or without a beard, it signifies that the dreamer has deviated from the sunnah and needs to realign with it. Prophets, emissaries of Allah Jalla Jalala and awliya or saints should appear in visions in their most exemplary postures, embodying the true essence of the sunnah. In the context of teeth symbolism, it's critical to recognize that Islam adheres to a lunar calendar comprising 28 lunar days, paralleling the 28 teeth depicted in the dream. Allah Jalla Jalla communicates to the sister that she has faithfully observed her worship on 27 days, with the black tooth representing a day of neglected duties. Teeth also symbolize family members. The front upper teeth, such as the incisors, which are visible and prominent, symbolize the immediate family members, father, mother, husband, brother, and sister. In this instance, the blackened canine tooth indicates that either her husband or someone intimately close is resistant to the disciple's commitment to the tariqah. A Muslim woman embracing the tariqah must exercise wisdom, as she is required to dedicate time to her dhikr, amounting to a maximum of 3 hours and 15 minutes daily. The two words, morning and evening, approximately take 90 minutes, daily Qur'an reading around 45 minutes, and the night dhikr spends a whole hour. If her husband opposes her participation in the tariqah, she should discreetly practice her dhikr and refrain from discussing the tariqah in his presence. Should a woman fail in her marital responsibilities, her husband's affection may diminish, even if the Prophet, peace be upon him, personally bestowed the word upon her. It's important to understand that the ideal wife is one who serves her husband, embodying his home and sanctuary as the Qur'an suggests. Absence of this homely essence upon his return can lead to inevitable discord. On the other hand, if the woman's conduct aligns with Qur'anic teachings, it greatly increases the likelihood of Allah Jalla Jalla guiding him towards the tariqah. In another dream, this disciple witnessed water flowing from her house and saw herself consuming honey. Sidi al-Sheikh replies as follows. The water's exit from the house symbolizes the removal of an affliction, as water purifies a concept echoed in the Qur'an. Consuming honey in the dream represents healing, aligning with the Qur'anic revelation that honey serves as a remedy for people.